Hey guys, so I wanted to bring you this video like right around the end of summer because I am a seasonal burner. So um, I, was, I couldn't do this video like at the beginning of summer when it started because I hadn't really burnt through my summer stash yet. So, um, but this wasn't even like a video idea I had when I got any of these candles. It was an idea I had like just recently as I was finishing some of these up and I realized I was still so disappointed. Um, so typically what I do, if a candle sucks for me, uh, you won't see it in an empties video. I won't really talk about it because I don't have much of a tolerance level for candles that don't perform. And what I typically do is I just bring them right back to the store and I do some research first. Like I'll check online, I'll ask in the Facebook groups, like if it's a particular scent, like see if there's other people who it threw for, performed well for, and let's say mine just didn't. And if I think it's a dud and I've heard other people have it and it does well, I'll take it back to the store and I'll exchange it for the exact same scent and like give it another try. And I would say most of the time, almost every time I think I've done that, it's come back totally fine and you know, it was a great performing candle. I just got a dud and it is what it is. And like, I usually won't even talk about it. Just like, whatever, I got a dud. Or um, I take it back and if I know like it was shitty for everyone, I just exchange it for a different candle. So I don't really talk much about ones that don't perform well for me because I typically don't hold on to them. Um, I wanted to make this video though before I finish these guys. And most likely these will all be in an empties um, at the end of this month, at the end of August, because I do plan on finishing them with the exception of this guy back here. But before I came to the very end, I just wanted to talk about them, give a little bit of a review, pretty much tell you why they sucked, why I hated them, and why I would never repurchase any of these. I'm gonna start with the Blueberry Twist. So as you can see, this isn't gonna be much of a review because I have not burnt this one. And this is the only one I have of this candle. I don't have a backup. And the reason it's not burnt is because everywhere I look, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook groups, from my friends, other videos, no one has anything good to say about this candle. Just absolutely nothing in terms of scent throw. It doesn't perform. It doesn't do anything. There's no scent here. Uh, the description is sweet little blueberries pack a big fragrance punch in this creamy mix of whipped vanilla and coconut. And this smells amazing. I like this better than that blueberries and cream candle that came out in the spring. I like this a lot better. This is a really sweet candy like blueberry smell. And it's really, really good. And I would love this if it threw. I like, I mean, I would love it. I would have bought like 10 of these just based on cold sniff alone. But I don't have very good luck with the Pop Tails candle and I love the stripes too. Um, Pop Tails last year, I don't think there was even one that performed well for me. And I just don't think it's worth it. So I've been holding on to it and I wanted to exchange it. And what happens is every time I pick this candle up to bring it back to the store, I sniff it and I'm like, oh, it just, it smells so good. Like, should I give it a chance? Should I burn it one or two times? And you know, if it sucks, I'll bring it back. And if it's good, then it's great and I'll keep it and awesome. Um, but I really think I'm just gonna take it back. So I figured I would put it in this video um, as one of my top four suckiest Summer Bath and Body Works candles just based on what everyone said and the fact that it's gotten such bad reviews that I don't even want to burn it, but also to see if anyone watching this has burnt this candle and if you had a different experience and if you like this and you think I should give it a shot and you know see for myself, give it a burn, leave a comment below and please let me know because I haven't heard anything good about this candle. So if you have had a good experience, definitely let me know and maybe I'll consider giving it a try, maybe I won't bring it back. So that's kind of why I've just been holding on to that. And moving on, Here's another one that cold sniff alone, I would have bought 10 and that's Cactus Blossom. And I, I love this fragrance. I'll read you the description first. It's cactus flower petal, sunkissed coconut vanilla and fresh sparkling lemon. I mean, that just sounds awesome. Cold sniff, oh, it smells so good. It's like summery, but feminine. Like it's not like beachy, but it's like fresh summery. Like it just smells like a sunshiny summer's day. It's just, it's a gorgeous, unique type of fragrance. And that's what drew me to it too, was I was like, wow, this is a Bath & Body Works candle. Like, this smells so unique. This smells really high end. Like, this is a candle I would burn when I had company over. I think the jar is so gorgeous. I love the pink, the way it looks when the wax pool is translucent and like you have the white wax there. It's just super, super pretty. So I burnt it and I've burnt this in every single room of my apartment, including the bathroom. 
and consistently no throw, no throw, no throw. And I don't even mean like a one or a two or a little bit of a throw. I mean consistently zero. Now the last time I burnt this candle was the other day. Today's Monday and Saturday was the last time I burnt this, Saturday afternoon. And as you can see where it's a little discolored, it's like right about a half an inch, like the width of my finger right here. It's a little bit darker. And that was how much the pool was. That was how much it burnt down. So I'm right about the halfway point maybe a little bit below or just about the halfway point and it threw it did i could smell it i had it going in my hallway and i could smell it all the way at the other end of my hallway i would say the throw was about a five and a half maybe a six and that was with my air conditioner on too so i was like okay it's coming to life it's throwing but i was still disappointed and i was still disappointed because the throw did not really smell like what it smells like on cold the throw was actually very generic and it just smelled like generic perfumey Bath and Body Works body care. Like you just, you would walk through and be like, okay, this smells like a Bath and Body Works store. And like there was nothing unique about it. There was nothing distinguishable. I definitely didn't smell any sparkling lemon. I didn't smell any coconut. I didn't smell vanilla. I didn't, maybe it was just the cactus flower petal. It was just like, that was it. That was all I could smell. And I like the best way to describe it was just like that generic Bath and Body Works store smell. Like when you walk into a Bath and Body Works store, it smells like lotion or body care. And I don't know, I was just really disappointed. I just, when it was warming and when it was finally throwing, I was so annoyed because I was like, shit, I don't even like the way this smells. Like now it's finally performing and I don't like it. What the fuck? Like I was just so aggravated with this one. And I've talked to my friend Lindsay about it and she had the same thing with her candle. It just absolute zero throw and she was really disappointed too um, and she compared it a lot to the Baja cactus blossom and I think while it's warming it actually smells similar to the Baja cactus which to me smells like um, a lot like an endless weekend but like a shittier version of endless weekend or like a lesser than version of endless weekend and this just smells like the body care generic portion of endless weekend but it's just like it didn't do anything for me and I was just so annoyed that when I could finally smell it, it wasn't a good smell. It was like, really? Oh, it was really annoying. So I'll continue to melt this and burn this and I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions in at the end of August when I go through my empties. But I just, for, for it to not even throw up until the halfway point, that's annoying. That's like, I'm only getting half my money's worth. Like, I basically got like half of performance out of a candle. That sucks. And who's to say it's not going to go back out to having a zero throw as the wax goes on? I don't know, but I'll let you know in a couple of weeks. And next is Sunny Coconut. This is not the lid it came with. I don't know what I did with the lid it came with, but I think that this gold one looks better anyway. I love this one on cold. It just smells like a creamsicle. It's citrusy. It's beautiful. Uh, the scent notes are sunshiny orange blended with creamy vanilla coconut. That's a beautiful breezy trip to the beach. If you hate coconut, you would probably still like this on cold. It's not coconutty at all. And as you can see, I'm almost finished with this one. Again, I've burnt this in every single room of the house. I absolutely love the packaging. I love the orange colored wax. I think this is a beautiful candle just to look at and even just to have burning in your home. It's it's gorgeous. The sparkles, the like, I mean, this just screams summer to me. I think this is one of the most beautiful candles that they made this summer. Unfortunately, it has a scent throw of an absolute zero. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing. And it's so upsetting because it's such a great smell. And this is one that I feel like some people have had good things to say about. Like, it's kind of mixed, but I didn't really hear much about Sunny Coconut. Like, I really haven't heard much throughout the candle community about how this candle performed. So I didn't even think like after the first couple burns to maybe exchange it for a different sunny coconut and see maybe this one was a dud, I don't know. And then because it performed so shitty and because I got no throw, I didn't buy a backup even though like I was tempted to a couple times. I'm like, you know, it's so beautiful. It's such a great smell and cold. Maybe I should just grab one more, have a backup. Maybe it'll perform better and you know, everything will be fine. But I just couldn't, every time I like had it in my hand, I would pick it up and like put it right back on the shelf because I'm like, I just can't do it. What if it's going to be shitty again like this one and I'm going to be so annoyed and then I'm going to have to take it back and all that drama. So, you know, this is past the halfway point. I feel like if a scent was going to come out of this candle, it would have come out again, but there's just absolutely nothing. Even in my teeny tiny little bathroom, I get zero. And 
this is really like of all the ones that were sucky this season this was the most upsetting for me and this was the worst for me and it's because i loved it so much on cold i might have liked this even better than the cactus blossom on cold and you know there were so many days where i was just craving like a sweet citrus because this isn't a tart citrus it's like a creamy sweet citrus that orangey note is kind of in the background it's just so summery and perfect and I can't tell you how many times I would just sniff it on cold and like would be craving this scent and just like yearning for my whole apartment to smell like this and I would you know melt a couple of wax melts that were like citrus scented to you know maybe boost this but it just wasn't the same and like every time I burn it it's just aggravating and even when I hover my nose directly above the candle while the wicks are lit, I still don't get a scent throw. Like it's, I don't even get a scent throw standing directly above it. It just smells like burning wicks. I mean, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing in here. I just, I can't get over how disappointed I've been with this candle. Really, really deeply disappointed. I'm just so annoyed because it had so much potential. As far as I know, uh, neither of these are even a repackage. I mean, this I feel like could be a repackage with a twist. It's, you know, I feel like I've smelled this before, but this was just so new to me. And this was just like, it's not super coconutty. This was just like such a great summer scent. And I was so happy when I smelled it on cold. It was just like so new and so unique. And then it just ended up being this massive disappointment. So that sucks. And finally, the last one, another disappointment is, um, Fiji White Sands. Now this is a disappointment because again, on cold, loved it. Um, this is not a new scent. I think they had this you know, last year, a couple years ago, and it's been a hand soap. Um, it's not a new scent to Bath and Body Works. Sail away to a South Seas paradise and fragrance made from fresh cut sugarcane, white nectarine, and sun-drenched sandalwood. On cold, you definitely get the sandalwood. It's a nice, complex, unique scent. It smells a little bit different from the hand soap to me, but still a little bit similar. But it's unique, and it's just, it's one of those like beachy, but not sunscreeny, but not super coconutty, unique type beach scents. And it's that sandalwood, and I love sandalwood. Unfortunately, this just did not do well for me. And I do think this is one, I think other people had good luck with this. So maybe I should have just exchanged this when it was like one or two burns in and gotten another Fiji White Sands and just like tried a different candle. Perhaps this one was a dud. But all I know is that this did not perform for me. This has done horrible for me. And as you can see, the white wax is just awful. I mean, it's sticking to the jar. It's not even burning clean. It's discoloring. It just looks dirty when it's burning. I mean, just, it just has not, oh, I like popping these little wax bubbles. <laughs> it just has not been a pleasant experience for me this candle it's really just been aggravating um again I feel like this was a scent on cold I thought it was going to be strong I started in my living room I got nothing I put it in my hallway I got nothing I even tried burning this without the air conditioner on nothing and we're past the halfway point still nothing so this was just really upsetting because again, a great scent, something I really wanted to smell in the summer. I do like this packaging, but I'm kind of over the white wax with Bath and Body Works. Like if they're gonna use white wax, I would prefer if they kept them in these colored jars because I'm sure this white wax, well, I don't think this discolored as much. No, look, you can see it in the light. Look how dirty the Fiji white sand ones look. And even though the cactus blossom has gotten a little bit of like soot inside it, but it's not like this disgusting like, brownish dirty like this just looks dirty to me so I would prefer they just keep the white wax in these colored jars because even if they do get dirty you can't really tell because you can't see through and it all becomes a clear wax pool anyway so it just looks better in these color jars but like if it's gonna be in clear jars like stop putting wax that this color is in the clear jar because this just looks gross like I wouldn't want this out when someone comes over this just looks it looks gross <laughs> um, and there's not it like I I say all the time in my empties video, like, oh, it was dirty, or oh, it had puny wicks, or oh, it got ugly, but I don't mind. Because truth be told, if it throws like a mother, I don't mind. It can be as ugly as it wants. Like, it can have puny wicks, it can tunnel, whatever it wants to do. But if I'm still getting a scent throw, like, it's whatever. I don't even think about that. I'm just enjoying the scent. I'm enjoying the scent too much to worry about how ugly my candle looks. But when there's no scent throw and all you have going for you is the